Hello. Today I'm going to show you an interesting project of controlling DC process motors using F4 Discover Free. Here we have F4 Discover Free, and next to it there is one project board with motor drivers and two tiny DC process motors here. F4 Discover Free is connected to a USB cable to a computer and from this computer we can program, debug, and upload the firmware. Also, we can exercise standard input and standard output from serial terminal through the same USB cable. As usual, I also provide live webcam view to our system. As you can see here, we have the F4 Discover Free and motor drivers and here they are the two tiny DC process motors and now let's take a look at the Eclipse ID so here we have process project created from simple template under user.c we have set up and loop functions we configure ADC1 and then process 1 and process 2 and inside loop function basically we try to get input from keyboard and perform some action based on that input like turning on process motor number 1, turning on process motor number 2 or stopping both of them or reading position, reading the current position of process motors. Here I added the process motor drivers. So let's build the project. Building the project may, may take some time depending on your system. We have the binary ready now and Let's burn to F4 Discover Free. Meanwhile, I'll prepare the serial terminal. There you go. We can see a welcome message on the screen, I mean on the serial terminal. And you can press 1, 2, 3 to control press motor number 1. 4, 5, 6 to control process motor number 2 and you can press 9 to get the position of process motor number 1 or 0 to get the position of process motor number 2. Now if you press 9 continuously the rotor position is the same because obviously process motor number 1 now is not moving. So Let's turn on process motor number one. As you can see here, the rotor position of process motor number one is now incremented or turned to the other direction. And now the position is decremented. You can do the same thing to process motor number two. And that is the position of the rotor position of uh, process motor number two. So basically you can do anything you want by pressing one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see there on the screen, they turn counterclockwise or turn clockwise, or even you can stop both of them. And you can watch it in real time. All the position. So that's one interesting project that you can do with F4 Discover Free. I hope you enjoy the video and see you next time.